Hey guys, it's John, and uh, welcome to, back to my playthrough of Hino Space Outlaw. You may notice that I'm in a different area. I'm trying this out, okay? I decided to take a, a different camera angle, one that was a little less zoomed in. So, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Sorry for the whiplash. If you're watching this playthrough in the future, and you just binged part one and part two, and now you're watching part three, and you're like... That's not where he's supposed to be. I'm very sorry. Um, but yeah, we're uh, we're going back in to Hypnospace Outlaw to our retro internet paradise so that we can try to uh, report more first graders for copyright infringement. <laughs> That's my goal anyway. Um, it's been a couple days since I've played. Quite a few actually. Oopsie. And we're gonna try to catch up on what we were doing. Where, this is the download manager. Diet, get a new... Oh yeah, I was collecting squishers, now I remember. Let's go to the Enforcer dashboard. Mass cleanup, that's right. Okay, two Enforcers, we need you to go out there and clean up anything you can find. And so this is like a really like open-ended case of like, anything that you want to report, feel free to report. So yeah, let's do it. Um... Let's see, where should we go? No new zones are open for us, but we can go to it must be Central maybe. Oh yeah, oh wait, they said um didn't they say in the email that we need to uh check on whoever we reported last time? So Okay. Let's stand with Gooper. This is a new page. Join the Stand with Gooper Club now. I think I know what this is. This is by Abby Wrights 58 She's mad that we reported all of her Gooper copyright infringement. If freedom of speech is taken away, the dumb and silent we may be led like sheep to the slaughter. Sheep to the slaughter, rather. I'm sick of being attacked by snobby 20-year-olds sitting in a cushy office building somewhere. Get a life. Oh, I could flag you if you're not careful. The tags, by the way, are Gooper, Gumshoe Gooper, HS Stand With G, who else is in this club? Burn Rubber 50, Arlen for Obi, and Southern Gent. Well, we can report all of you if you'd like. I mean, this is not about a cartoon. It's about resisting the erasure of a work of a patriotic hero, a man who was willing to sacrifice everything for his country, W.E. Briggs. We honor his memory, and we honor America by standing with Gooper. Add this badge to your page to stay in agreement. Well, that's going to be an easy report right there. Uh, for content infringement. I'm sorry, but I want money, and I'm, I'm getting rid of this. Well done. Yeah, thank you. That's not the only one. Uh, let's get this one, too. I wish I could report multiple. <laughs> I wish I could report you all. Yeah, you're not not—you're not more powerful than the long arm of the law. Let me tell you that. Get it out of here. Get out of my sight. Okay, is that everything here? Oh, Blake, age seven, decided to draw... Gumshoe Gooper here. I think that's gonna constitute content infringement. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Blake. Not transformative enough. I keep looking over here because the camera's usually over there. Hannah, age six. Oh, isn't that adorable? Important message received from dispatch. That looks like Gumshoe Gooper to me. Ah. <sighs> Yeah. Any other elementary school kids wanna infringe on copyright? Not on my watch. I got a new uh, email, but like, we got it. We gotta get rid of this. Message received from dispatch. Ow! You're trying to ruin my good time. What? What? Case is added. Gumshoe Gooper content infringement. Oh! Great job cleaning up those Gumshoe Gooper violations. This whole zone has been a problem for the last two weeks, but none of us want to ban anyone over a silly goldfish cartoon. Hopefully they retreat soon. Add a new Gumshoe Gooper case so you can cash in on today's violations. Okay. Good job out there, John Wolf, but there's still more to clean up. Hey, John Wolf. I'm arranging a few normal cases for you right now, but in the meantime, see if you can find a few more violations on your own. Thanks again, Sam. Interesting. Okay, uh, they don't 
sign every uh, case or, or email with Sam. Where do I go for my cases? Is it? Oh, it's right here. Come shoot Cooper infringement. Look at all of these additional violations. It says case closed, but like, I mean, we're still we're still going, aren't we? Oh, let's see who else decided to do this. Oh, now this is just. I mean, what were you thinking? You weren't. You weren't thinking, were you? And that's why you gotta go. I'm reporting all of this. Thanks for the money, sucker. Oh, you got the Stand With Gooper badge, do you? Well, that's going too. Yeah, you stand with Gooper. You can stand with Gooper in a jail cell. That's what I think. <laughs> uh, anybody else? You got any other Goopers around here? I didn't think so. Uh, let's, let's, let's browse the tag, see who else is here. Oh, wow. Noble Warlock supports the Stand with Gooper movement. My brother is a lawyer and he said there's no reason these people can't show pictures of the Gooper cartoon. So stop picking on my friends. Uh, yeah, your brother is wrong. So. Glad we could clear that up. Look at him. I, I drew him waving the flag, so it's okay. Eh, technically. Uh, on today's internet, maybe. But not back then. Not back here. Not back in these olden times. Alright, let's see. Who else? Southern Gent. Oh, you stand with Gooper, do ya? A blatant attack on free speech and American values has been carried out by the elites at Merchantsoft and their mob cronies, the HSPD. Add this club badge to your page, slip merchants off. No, you're not putting up with it. It's so funny. I'm sorry, but it's so funny that we just, I just click a button and you're, you're gone. I kind of get why content ID trolls on YouTube do it. It's kind of funny. Um, I guess that's it. You only had one? I accept you all's nomination for new leader. Hypnospace, the people have spoken. I kind of want to flag this person. I think it'd be funny. Can I flag them? Let's see. Reginald Randy Roberts, small business owner, scam whistleblower, and rich businessman. Oh yeah, you're friends with Arlen and Abby, right? Eh, I don't want to flag them unless they get really annoying, you know? Okay, so, uh... Wait, does it... Oh my gosh. I saw this, and I thought that he was saying it. I thought that he was saying it, and I was like, no way he just said, hey guys, it's John. I guess I need some sleep. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I cannot believe that that happened. Okay. Um, there's more to clean up. So you can find more violations. Okay, well, I've... I've done the gumshoe gooper bit. So, like, what else do we need to do? Let's see. I did stand with gooper. We've been to burn and rubber. Do we... We should go back to places where we found problems before. So... Terry's General Store, maybe? Did I get anything here? I can't remember. Is there... Oh, we should go back and check in on Zane, right? Oh. Mushy official virtual pet. Adopt Mushy now. Oh. <gasps> Squishers. Squishers are really cool. Squishers are so much fun. There's loving gooey animals. Do as they will and so much more. Buy a squish them, you've got to collect, collect them all. Squishers. Squishers. I will be collecting them all. Thank you so much for your permission. Mushy kit. Wait. The first officially licensed Squishers Hemospace Virtual Pet? I'm buying it. I buy it. Downloading Musha Pet. What's Musha Pet? Click here for virtual pet tips and amazing new tree of life for pets. Ooh. 
A tree of life, is your pet starving and you can't afford to feed them? Worry not, we've all been there. The HypnoS Tree of Life for HypnoS Virtual Pets is a new desktop accessory that grows food for your pets to eat. Wow. The HypnoS Year 2000 update is coming. Uh, is this what this is all building up to? Y2K? I'm curious. What? Re Rebe Ruth Pin's homepage. Oh yeah, this is the person who I can't I can't click on their squishers. Let's see. Monarch? Have we been to this one? Oh yeah, okay. Why is this tagged squishers? The squishers deception. <laughs> squishers kid. The season's free trial has ended. This page will be deleted in 30 days unless their subscription is renewed. Can I, can I buy them a subscription? I would be happy to do that, actually. Alright, well, yeah, that's fine. You know, if we come across any squishers, then we'll, uh... Feeding your pet icons and files that aren't pet food is not advisable. Do not feed your pet excrement poop. Okay, let's take a look at our... Yeah, here we go. Installing mushy pet. Is it mushy or, or, or mushy or mushy? Oh, oh my god. P-O-O. P-O-O. It's poo. Can I pet? I can pet. I can pet him. Make him happy. Make him happy. Oh, that's really cool. That's so much fun. Do we put this in the... Oh, I recycled the poop. Yeah, the song was right. This is so much fun and really cool. All right, should I get, uh, oh my goodness, buy food? The pet's name is April. I mean, okay. Oh wait, to monitor the health and happiness of your virtual pet, double click on the pets icon. Oh. Oh, we're good. Oh, the pet's name is Mushy. Not April. What should we name them? What do you guys think? You're in the future. Their name's Justine. We'll do that for old time's sake. Alright, now... We can buy them food some other time. Okay. We need to do the Tree of Life. That, honestly, that Tree of Life looks kind of wilted and bad. Let's see. Counselor Ronnie reporting for duty. Duty. D -d 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 duty. I, I feel like... Even though I hear them for like 15 seconds at a time, um, I, I already know all the songs. Tim Again. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, is this... Same rocks. The news is true. I dumped my GF. It just did not work out. Also, I don't like squishers anymore. It's for kids. I like gory movies a lot. New comic up, my best one yet. It's, uh, well, what's the rest of it? We can't flag Zane. We can't flag Zane, come on. We gotta keep him up. Stupid website award. The worst Hypnospace page award goes to the dumpster. More like the dumpster. No surprise here, for it is probably written by a fruity fairy 30 year old who lives with his mommy. Wow. Not very progressive of you, Zane. Good thing it's the 90s or whatever. They even thought they could give me a fake joke award and then I'll fall for it and put it on my page. Think again. I knew the whole time that it was fake. I was baiting you to see if you would fall into my little trap. Guess what? You lost, sucker. And now you have won Zane's official stupid website award, idiots. The end. <sighs> Can someone give me an FLST password? Well, I mean, is this? This is harassment, I think. Yeah. Sorry, Zane, but you're harassing them. Yeah. That's right. Do it. Harassment. This is what. This is what. Uh, no violation detected. 
Oh, okay. Oh, did I accidentally do copyright infringement? Oh, I think I accidentally did copyright infringement. See, it's a stupid website award. Wait. Is it... Stupid website award, maybe, is a safer report? No violation detected. Oh, okay. Really? He called it a stupid website award. Okay, where's your... Where's your other website? Oh, Big Z Studios Slayers X issue number two. Psst, hey, Numbnuts over here. Don't scream. Yes, I am powerful, but I'm a good guy. Come outside, Zane, now. Voila, I am Mikey Psyche. We have been watching you, Zane. Come into my energy portal. Only if you can handle it. Let's go. A few minutes later. This place is freaking huge. Yes, it is the biggest secret base in the galaxy. Welcome to the Steel Sewer. We have every single gun, machine gun, machine gun, sword, and RPG in the world. We have every instrument in every video game and movie. There's even a soda machine. But for now, we must talk. Oh my gosh, it's like the island of lost boys or whatever in Pinocchio. He's little John, leading him to the promised land. Not little John, big John, right? I don't know, I haven't seen Pinocchio in probably 15 years. It's for kids, and I'm an adult. I don't watch those kids' movies. Those dreams you had, they're all real. The demons, the green energy, your secret powers and double pistols, all of it is real. We need your help, Zane. There's an evil force at stake in this world. Most people are blind to its power. We've been fighting it for 20 years. For some reason, Zane, it is scared of you. It knows you have a secret power, and if you train and unlock the power, it knows that you can kill it. Let's kick some demon ass, but they've censored ass. <laughs> yeah. I I hate to say it, but all the way down to the bad art, uh, this is me when I was 13. All, all the way down to believing that um, I could fight demons in real life with secret energy powers. It's literally... Something that I, I kind of, I guess, escaped to. Um, I had a little role-playing moment there. But, uh, anyway. What's under the Zane tag? Oh, yeah, Jessica, your, your very real girlfriend. Zane rocks. Dark HSPD enforcers, look here. Dark Twilight Tiff. Hello, Enforcers, can you please do something about these guys? They have been messaging me nonstop. I tried sending a message to Counselor Ronnie, reporting for duty, and the HSPD a few days ago, but haven't had a reply. Chit Chat doesn't reply to me either. Hypnospace named that brassy kid. Hi, I'm Corey. Nice to meet you. How are you, Tiff? Hey, Tiff, what hobbies do you like? Looks like you're busy. That's okay. We can talk some other time. Bye. Hey, yeah, I was working on something. Nice to meet you, too. Oh, hi! Sorry if I seemed rude. It's okay, no problem at all. Glad you're back on. So were you working on something with Tim? He does art right. Very impressive. Yeah, he's cool. A little crazy sometimes, though. But whatever. B-W-L? I assume. But whatever... Later? <laughs> I, I, I didn't use that particular acronym myself in my AOL Instant Messenger days. Thanks for the reply. That's interesting. Do you mean that Tim is crazy in the way of being dangerous, or just crazy in a zany, funny way? To be honest, his page gives me the impression that he could be dangerous. So I just want to make sure you're okay. Tim is the guy that we just we just went to his little website where it's him in sunglasses sitting in a chair, right? I think I remember saying that and being like, "That's a, that guy's a joke. Okay, good. Phew. You can never be too safe these days. Oh, she said just in a funny way. Which is why I've been doing karate every day with a master karate expert. Four minutes passes. So, Tiff, are you and Tim going out? Hello? BWL, no! What does BWL stand for? I'm doing it. I'm... What is this? Welcome to the game, bro? BWL. Okay, acronym. 
The acronym BWL means U.S. Army Biological Warfare Laboratories. Oh, I see. So she's saying biological warfare laboratories, 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 laboratories. No. It can also mean bursting with laughter, but I don't know. I'm not so sure about that. Bursting with laughter. Personally, I did LMSO, laughing my socks off. That was my uh, bursting with laughter. Oh, okay. Sorry about that, Tiff. So how are you doing? You must be busy again. You should let people you are chit-chatting know if you want to stop a conversation so they don't have to wait for a reply and be bored. Sorry if that sounded mean. I'm just bored. Hi, Tiff. I mean this with all due respect, but did your parents teach you manners? I'm not being mean. Just curious if you understand that you're being disrespectful and, if I may, a little bit rude. Corey is uh, doing a classic technique called sea lioning here. Uh, where you are basically harassing someone, but you're not insulting them yet, and so you're just acting like they're being unfailingly rude while you are being nothing but polite and asking them a series of increasingly personal questions. Are you unable to answer my inquiries? My, my inquiries? Here's, here's, here's Zane. Hey, hi, hello. Hi, what's up? Cool, hi. Are you a virgin? Hello, I bet you are. I know you're thinking about me. Excuse me? I'm naked. Are you? What's up, sexy? Never mind, you're ugly. Suck it. <gasps> okay, so like... I mean, do we... Do we just... <laughs> do we... Do we... Do we do this for harassment? <laughs> I'm, I'm taking action right now, Tiff. Just like you wanted. Here we go. Here we go. I'm This is harassment. I'm taking care of it. He's not really saying anything in this one though. Oh yeah, yeah there's no violation in that one. That's okay. What about this one? This is harassment. Important by Corey. message received from dispatch. Oh, did I screw up? Yeah, that's right. I did it. <laughs> All right. Har one of the tags is harassment. Handbook. Oh, okay. The dispatch page. That brassy kid. Which one's this one? Dear Zane, I apologize sincerely for what I did by making a threat and saying hateful things about you on my page. I did not mean the things I said, and I will never do that again. My sincerest apologies, Corey. Dear Merchant Soft, I apologize sincerely for making an offensive image and putting it where kids can see. It will never happen again. Oh, he's the one who made the anti-Zane fan club, isn't he? <laughs> oh my gosh. I've broken up with my girlfriend. It's true, me and my girlfriend are no longer dating. Wait, is Corey also a character made up by Important Zane? Message received from dispatch. How many people did Zane make up? But why would he make a badge that you can put on your profile that's like the Zane Sucks Club or whatever? I know how much it hurts to be alone, but now I do. Ladies, watch out. Corey is on the prowl. I don't think you understand how sinister that sounds. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Good job reporting those chit chat screenshots. That would annoy me too. This is a weird one because Dark, like, tw uh, Dark Twilight Tiff isn't an offender, but she's got all these violation points. I don't think there's currently a way to transfer points to the offending citizens either. I'm forwarding this to Dylan so we can get an answer ASAP. Don't flag her, please. This is a malicious software notice regarding unauthorized speed boosting software reported in Starport Castle Dream Station. Oh, we got a new zone. Please utilize your enforcement tool to report and remove it as soon as possible. Okay. Unauthorized speed boosting software. What? Hmm, I don't think there's a way, sorry. We'll get that to the next year. Oh, we'll get to that next year. Plus, chit chat logs aren't really our problem. They have their own rules and guidelines, and they should police their own network. Okay, so that's from Dylan, right. Important message oh my goodness. From Merchant Soft. <gasps> no! He's sad! No, she's sad! No, buy food! I'm buying them food. Oh, wait. 
Their health is up. Do are you gonna eat? Eat it. Eating a sandwich. Can I? Yes, I pet you. Okay, good. You're easy to make happy. You're easy to make happy. There you go. There you go. You want to eat the rest of your sandwich? Yeah. And you want to eat this your pet food? That's right. You know what? I'm going to buy you more food so that you can eat it. And, uh... Oh my gosh. Okay. Alert. Change your passwords now. It seems that the passwords of multiple Merchantsoft personnel have been recently compromised. Please change your password immediately. Especially if you have access to our code base. Wow. Um... I don't think I have a... Do I have a password? I don't think I have a password. I'm not used to this angle. Wait, I don't want to go this way. I want to go this way because it's reversed. Oh my god. Anyway. Right. Um, speed boosting. Okay. My wonderful girlfriend named Jennifer. We met at a movie theater when I spilled some popcorn and she helped pick it up. We were going to see the same movie and we sat next to each other and both felt a connection. She has a page on Hypnospace 2, so go visit it. Oh my gosh. I've kissed someone. This is a list and they don't have they don't have anything. They've never kissed anybody. Hey, there's no shame in that, okay? There's no shame in that. Okay. I'm back. Um <laughs> I came back to the screensaver. Uh, sorry, I had to leave for a moment because you may have heard them in the background, but my my daughter was screaming. Um, she was. It was a good scream. Um, she was screaming because she wanted, wanted to have more applesauce for lunch, um, and so we're we're trying to get her to do sign language for more, um, which she did while while I was. Um, while I was with her just now, she kind of brought her hands together like this, and we were like, we'll take it. I'm trying to get her to use, you know, different methods than screaming, but she is seven months old, so. Can't impart too many lessons. Um, wait, what are we doing? I'm trying to remember. Let me look at the enforcer dashboard. I'm putting, I'm put, you know what? You're a lot of work. You know that, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't mind doing it a little bit, but this is, here we go. Oh yeah, Starport Castle Dream Station, I got it. Let's, uh, let's go back here. Starport Castle Dream Station, a place for fanatics of fantasy, science fiction, cog punk, gorth vibe, and more. To the dreamers! A new zone for all you geeks, nerds, and other citizens with niche interests. Okay. A message from Hypnospace CEO Adrian Merchant. Welcome to Starport Castle Dream Station, a new zone where fans of fantasy, science fiction, and other niche interests may converge. If your listed pages appeared in one of the following zones, they have now been re relocated here. Sci-Fi Starport. Dream Castle, Gamers Only, I wonder who was behind that one, Cybercog Station, The Comic Shop. Cool, so this is like, oh, look at all, oh, nice, there's only like six uh, pages too. The bull, ru the bull Ring Inside, an unofficial Taurus and Muleta fan resource. Oh my gosh, is that a squisher? Said it has come to this. I support my employers, but I also support my friends, so I have joined the Freelands. The Freelands. The Boring has moved to the SAI Freelands. While I still love the Merchant Brothers and believe in Merchant Soft as a company, I feel it's only my only right to stand with my friends in these trying times. The Boring does not claim ownership of Taurus or related characters. Oh, well, in that case, reported for copyright infringement. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> but you said you don't claim ownership. So then who owns it? Not you. If you don't claim ownership. Let's see. Let's do Taurus. Okay. History. 
of Taurus. Let's see. I don't... Let's see. Who is Taurus? Taurus and Muleta began life as an, uh, the underground creation of oddball creative of color Virgil Timothy in the early 80s. So yeah, so this isn't you. So this is copyright infringement, is it not? I mean, according to the draconian standards of Hypnospace Outlaw. What is that sound? Oh my god, I just realized it's my... <gasps> Squishers are really hungry. Squishers, they poop a lot. They demon constant attention and beg for hugs and kisses and pets and they are really actually taking a lot of my time. Squishers. Okay. Uh, as, as interesting as it is to have like the entire history of Taurus here, Taurus X 2098. They did this a lot. Actually, in the late 90s. They did this with Marvel superheroes. They came out with like a 2099 version of, of all the superheroes. Um, there was like, like everybody had a 2099. There was like, you know, there was even like Doctor Doom 2099. Uh, they, they basically did it to their entire roster. The only one that's really stood the test of time is Spider Man 2099, uh, which has appeared now in the Spider Verse movies and stuff. But, uh, yeah, they did it for all of them. It was, like, a, a big new thing that they tried. And, yeah, most of the 29, like, Iron Man 2099, etc. They kind of just, you know, obviously they're different characters. Because Tony Stark isn't alive in 2099. So it's a different character. Um, I assume. I haven't read it. But it just makes sense. Uh, Bullring. Let's see. The Bullring fan art. Unofficial Tor Taurus fan resource. How to draw a classic Taurus. Copyright infringement. You're telling people how to draw a Taurus? Oh, come on. How about Roddy? Roddy Wall. <laughs> oh my gosh. Me, your friendly ringleader. Programmer at Merchantsoft. Wait, you work for Merchantsoft? I dropped out of high school, then became famous in the world of computing after releasing Sandwich Encryption with Sam Parker, Miss You Buddy. Now I work on hypnospace programming. Some of Dylan's creations, virtual pets were our pet project. Haha. <laughs> okay, so we can go to the hypnospace project diary here. October 1999, secret project for Y2K. Dylan let me in on the plans for the year 2000. Hypno S update, and I don't think anyone's ready for what we're about to unleash. Wow. Just wow. Okay. Sandwich. <laughs> okay. Interesting. So how do we get to these freelands, by the way? Virtual pet. Pets. Jazz's software reviews. Oh, that's in the cafe. Right. Uh... Let's see, I'm not sure... Year 2000. How much... Are you pooping? Did you poop over here? Where'd you poop? Do you have enough food? Okay, I'm buying you food. Am I gonna get any kind of like... Oh look, you have cake, donut, and carrot. Eat up. Preferably not all those at the same time. Okay, let's uh let's get off of Roddy's page and go check out someone else. Linda has moved to SAI. The Observer moved out. Court of Phaedrala moved. SAI statement on disaster. Official ultimatum for Mergensoft regarding recent disaster. Sovereign Alliance of Imagination. The SAI runs Freelands, an open zone of users who do not accept Mergensoft's Starport Castle Dream Station. Okay, so they're... They did not like this. Linda's Library of Weird is now located in the Psy Freelands. Click here for more info. Sovereign Alliance of Imagination, right. Because Merchantsoft has seen fit to merge our zones, no warning, and severely limit our download speeds, the remaining members of the five deleted zones have come together to form the Sovereign Alliance of Imagination. We've decided in unison to delist our pages and form our own zone, free from the control of Merchantsoft. 
Come visit and explore the free lands. Okay. What is this? Wiggle your cursor for faster page loading, downloading, and processing. Too true. Oh my god, it's like old Flash games. Ah. Downloading X Real One. The Trial of Acceleration. Or is. Okay. The Trial of Acceleration. What is that? A secret stash is hidden in the Freelands. You shall unlock it. Two east of Roddy's Bullring, that's me. One north of Casper's Rocket. Only one path leads to this place. Look closely at the borders. Once you find it, come back here in this trial. You will rock it. Okay, so east of Roddy's Bullring, north of Casper's... This is the Bullring. Oh, oops. Okay, so look closely at the borders. So what is this? Gary's control room. What is Welcome to Gary's control room. If you've been to a cybercog event, you probably we've probably met. I've attended I've attended over 20 events all over our country over the last uh, 3 years. Check out my new interactive illustrated story here. Wow, okay. You're an ordinary person, a nothing, a nobody. Deep inside you, something calls for release from the meaningless, from the routine of everyday life. You crave for the decaver, <laughs> decaver of the techno shamanet natrix. What? Okay, fine. I find meaning. Black lightning cracks the sky like a rusty dagger stabbing the egg yolk heart of a dying machine god. The faint sound of cogs turning comes from the broken window. Sweet smell of hot oil following the appearance of a figure in the living room of your home with a second mortgage. The figure is wearing an ankle-length black trench coat. Dark sunglasses with code floating in their reflection. So you basically made the Matrix. It is the techno Shamanatrix, master of cyber cog. What are you doing in my house? I have come to save you, Gary. Says that, oh my god, my friend Gary's playing this right now too, and he's probably like, I love it! That's my name! He's talking to me! That's awesome! I will touch your mechanical mind with the enlightenment of the Plexa Decadocagon. <laughs> but before I can, you must know something. What? You scream. This path requires sacrifice. Follow the path. Let's begin then, Gary. First, you must give me your kids. What? You say under your breath? But loud enough for him to hear. My kids, why? The time you spend pursuing their interests will drag you from the holy path of the cybercog. Give him your kids. Give him one kid. Say no. Don't pick this. I'm saying no. Seriously? Just stop playing if you're just gonna fool around. <laughs> Fine. Sweaty days attending soccer games and cringing at adolescent talent competitions melt from your life like scales from the eyes of a person with blepharitis. Give me your job, the master of cybercog says. Gladly. Board meetings are suddenly a thing of the past. Cybercogian magic. Cybercogian magic, rather. You couldn't be happier. Give me your so-called home. How could I do that? The only home you require is the companionship of your cybercog companions. <laughs> Truth ringing in his voice. Convention halls and sofas will provide for every shelter need you may have. Convention halls. Give me your marriage. Actually, it'll be hard at all. I'm doing it. Hello, and thank you for entering the cybercog. It might surprise you, but this story is actually somewhat autobiographically based. I'm Gary. I'm not saying I'm the character, but I'm literally Gary. My name is Gary in real life. Hi. <sighs> the Cybercog community is big, welcoming, and growing. If you too wish to follow the crank-lined path and find increased meaning in a digital world, here's my page with links to other Cybercogian pages. 
as well as cyber co-gathering events where you'll find our members in the new millennium. Let's go to this community resource. Are you guys excited about this? Oh my gosh, look at all these. Y'all got any squishers here, man? Former Hypnospace Cybercoggers. There's only two left? Uh, Gil and Sarah Sanders. Look at I, the, the, the cursor is a wand. You're just steeped into the warm abode of Gil and Sarah Sanders. On Gil's page, you'll find fancy sci fi and cyber cog art of the Sanderverse and his HSM music. Sarah's page is all about on and offline fantasy interactive theater, which is a few of her strong opinions. <laughs> This is an anti-sacred garden home. We do not support the touchy-feely, wimpy direction their company is headed. We are the founders of the Sovereign Alliance of Imagination. Wow. We're always accepting new people. Merchants off can keep trying to destroy us if they want, but we'll always rise again. So, how, yeah, how do I get there? The Sanderverse. An interactive QOSM interactive theater campaign. Sorry, my original is what I'm going to say. I, I'm, I'm reading so much, it's hard to keep up. Set in a world I created that combines science fiction, fantasy, and cybercog in unexpected way. ways. If you're part of the community and your page is loading slowly, go take Roddy's test to get Accelerator. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. Sarah Nia is a character me and my wife Sarah made up based on many of Sarah's real life quirks. Yeah. Okay. Sarah Nia is a master archer and can use telepathy to communicate with almost any being in the Sanderverse. This drawing is my own artistic interpretation of Sarah Nia. Click the link below to see my wife's drawing she uses in game. Oh, okay. Yeah, so her drawing is completely normal. And your drawing... Well... Let's see. She looks a little different. Wow. It's got a whole universe here. So what is, uh... What's her page like? Sarah's study. Sarah's Sanders art gallery. Oh my. Very good. Deborah the giant gnome. A giant gnome. Deborah is a character wrote for the Sanderverse. Gil thinks she's too stupid, so we won't include her. Yeah, I think Deborah is missing a, like uh, two very important assets. Sarah's quick opinions. Orlando is only fun if you're rich. We stayed in a happy birthday hotel there, and it was adequate, but the theme parks were so disappointing. Most of your time there will involve waiting in long lines while the sun fries your skin. Two out of ten. <laughs> I love it. I've never been to Orlando myself. I've never been to Florida, actually, in general. Which I'm told by some people is a plus. But, uh... No offense to anyone that's in Florida. Actually, y you know what? Y'all know. Y'all get it. Okay, so... The Observer. We have moved to the Freelands. So, all signs are pointing to the Freelands. I don't want to, like, read every page in detail. But... I do want to take a quick glance at them. Statement on Disaster. For immediate release. This is the day before, because it's the 26th now, it's 25th. Let's see. So they don't like the Dream Station. Uh, SAI freelance pages, they come back up the night, next night and load very slowly. Explain yourselves. Remove the loading speed cap on Sci freelance pages. Change community leader to Gills Creates. Who's the community leader currently? Roddy? It should say here. No, it doesn't. Yeah, the, usually they have the 
thing there. Okay. Come visit and explore the Freelands. Okay, so... It's north of Roddy's Bull Ring, right? Let's go to the east, though. Head south to visit Gil and Sarah's homestead. We're the stewards, or king and queen if you'd prefer, of the Freelands. Oh, I'm sure you are. But this just leads me to the Starport Castle Dream Station page. So what's the point of the Freelands? Casper Air. So it's east of this. Huh. Casper Sunberg. Okay, so wait, if I go to the east... The Observer. Okay. Oh, I guess... So is this, a, is this a different page, I guess, than I went to earlier? Squishers review. Oh my god, it looks just like Pokemon. I love it. Forgive the blurry screenshots. It's hard to take pictures of the Game Champ Portable's tiny screen. I remember that challenge. Taking pictures of, like, a black and white Game Boy was, like... I mean, why bother? The ones without the backlight? Because, like, they didn't have a backlight until the Game Boy... Did the Game Boy Color have a backlight? I never had one. I only had the black and white model. I know the Advance had one. But the original Game Boy didn't. And so, if you wanted to play games in the dark, you couldn't do it. I mean, you could, but you need, like, nearby uh, light, light sources. Gaming. What's on the gaming tag? Okay. Cataclysm preview. So Cataclysm is Zane's favorite game, I believe. Cataclysm Micro Trooper. Huh. Wow, look at this. Crazy. Wow. By the studio behind 1995's orb slaying masterpiece, Eat Lead. Figure out how to say this thing will be playable on mainstream computers for at least three years without pissing Killbox off. Who's Paragraph two? Oh, this isn't done yet. All clips distributed with permission from Killbox Entertainment. Oh, Killbox is the developer. Okay, I got it. Hmm, why are there no hypno -S games? Drug Runners in Teentopia. Why is an anti-drug game called Drug Runners? Oh, is that Counselor Ronnie? No, it sure is. Downloading drug runs into a I downloaded the game. Open lockers to find magic items. What's that that... Wait, what? Can you run from the evil T-Nub dealers and be the fastest drug runner of them all? Okay. Um, let's see. Chosen anointed preview. No fear, no limits. <laughs> the Holy Bible. Children's Museum. The Sword of the Word. Your default melee option. Or weapon, sorry. Oh, what? Wow, okay. Oh my god, you're, you're like... <laughs> you're like fighting the worldly creature. Yeah, look. <laughs> Worldly education. <laughs> I see. You must fight. Oh my god, you must you must tear down the concept of evolution. <laughs> you can destroy an evolution exhibit with a magic tambourine gun. <laughs> Even if you aren't a fan of religion, this thing is so over the top that it borders on satire. The main character, Pastor Chet. Spouts constant religious witticisms and catchphrases as you blow demonic forces back to hell. That's funny. So it was, it was funded by a church, by the way. <gasps> no! No! I was gone for too long! Why 
are they eating their pet food? I had food for them right here. Did they just never go over to it? They never eat their food. <sighs> That's really upsetting. Justine, no. Well, anyway. Okay, so... I gotta get to the accelerator stuff, or... Pay attention to the borders? What's funny is, like, this is faster than my dial-up connection would load stuff like this. Adventure Quest, Neopets... Linda's Library of Weird. Zone Graveyard commemorating the zone's loss in the Great Massacre of 1999. Okay, and what about... This way. Psy Citation. Wow, how many drugs are you on? Very creative, but you need to remove the animation of yourself from this plot. Also, please remake your page because Net Settler isn't supported in... Uh, HS anymore. Do you think this is a joke? You have one last change to remake your old Net Settler page, or you're gone. Visual Wizard Eagle. What the hell is going on? If you can't find a favorite page, you can still search the NSDP tag. To find older net settler pages hidden by Merchantsoft. They didn't get mine. NSDP. NSDP. Oh. What is go okay, so something something strange is happening here. NSDP? Oh. Yay, you can find old stuff here. Official Net Settler info. All current Net Settler pages have been automatically hidden. They're no longer compatible with Hypnospace Explorer. Oh. Okay, so. Um, let's see. Connie Connects. Connie's Connection. Gearhead Greg is a helpful, well-meaning individual, but I would be strongly advised against using his password security tips. Y'all got any squishers? That settler abandoned. Connie's favorite. Okay, let's, uh... Oh. Yeah, these, these uh, load pretty slowly. Yeah, okay, so I guess this isn't compatible with like the current browser. Is that the idea? Asher. Yup, my page is definitely messed up. Working on getting it formatted properly. I've joined the Cavern Project. Find me there. Wow, the rabbit hole just keeps going, huh? Cyber of a slug. I know most of you can't see my page, but I'm not remaking it since I planned on leaving next year anyway. Chit chat me if you want to talk double witness. I wonder if there's something that we can use. Oh. I wonder if there's something we could use to like translate these. Like we can download like an old browser or something. You know? Uh, let's go to Rendermans. 3D page. Squishers are hard to find. Where are all the squishers? I cannot find them, no matter how much I try. I am trying going to all the pages and I still can't find them. Squishers. Future recycler. <laughs> The Lord sent me from 2038 to 1999 to help educate you all on saving the Earth from future calamity. 
2038 is, I believe, the year that Detroit Become Human takes place. So there's a weird little uh, relation right there. Ask me about my product proposals. I see. Well, that was that was cool to get to go there. Um, hang on, I'm gonna look at this again. Truck run setup. Oh wait! Oh wait! What? This <laughs> should complete. Where's the extra? Let me let me A watch this again. Secret stash is hidden in the freelands. You shall unlock it. Two east of Roddy's bullring, that's me. One north of Casper's rocket. Ah. Only one path leads to this place. Two Look east of Roddy's bullring, one north of Casper's rocket. I, I got it mixed up. I thought it was one north of the bullring. East of the rocket. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, with this newfound information, or information that I... Up. So if we go east, can we go east of the bullring? Okay, so if I go up to the right, down, here we go. Click to open the stash of the acceleration only if worthy. Okay, we got it. We're getting the accelerator. Let's see. Uh, here we go. Oh. The father of the Freelands. His cybercogian name. The mother of the Freelands. What she shoots in her game. The amount of zones that Merchant Soft sent to an early grave. Five. Now return to the Freelands, south of the Colosseum, and input this code you figured out for your final test. I really hope to see ya. Okay, so the Cybercogian the name. The of the Freelands, his Cybercogian name. Right, so Gil and Sarah's. What she shoots in her game. What she shoots in her game. Okay. Oh my gosh. I think actually it's quicker to just do this. Okay. Call scene. Alright, so we go here. Let's see, Gill's page, uh, and the Sanderverse. Signal is played by me, Gill. He plays a guitar that he's used to hack into Cyber Coggy, uh systems. So Signal is his name. And then... What she shoots in her game. Let's see. She's an excellent archer. Uh, let's see. She feels a strong sense of compa compassion and empathy for others due to her telepathic abilities. So understanding her enemies and employing diplomacy is always how she tries to resolve things. Okay. So I guess, I mean, I guess we kind of go to... Okay, here we go. Institute of Higher Imagination. What is this? Uh, it doesn't really say what she shoots in her game. Okay. Um, I think I was thinking of it wrong. I think I was thinking of it like, what creature does she shoot so I think it's just signal arrows five because she shoots arrows yeah download uh, are you worthy of acceleration accelerators only for members of the sovereign alliance of imagination wait what what is the name of the SAI's special custom-made zone the freelance 
What did Casper Air Graphics do before he made amazing fancy sci-fi artwork? Um, play guitar in a cosmic rock band. What are short, scary stories involving everyday objects called? Hence, they were invented by the citizens of the comic shop. Scaries? Which popular dragon adoptee is an impish prankster and a goofball? Oh, that's, um... And this dragon was famous in the Dream Castle. Merginius? What are Taurus and Muleta? Uh, human humanoid bull and sentient Kate. What highly valuable... How many are there? Oh my god. Are you gonna tell me if I got them wrong? What highly valuable cybercog items grant human superpowers after they are decrypted in special computer terminals? Aren't those just data cogs? Did I get all those right? Downloading accelerator. Oh my god, I got all of them right! Some of those I definitely didn't know. Some of them I did. Some of them I definitely didn't know. Wow. Install an install accelerator. Hmm. <laughs> and successfully installed. Great. Thank you. Enable. For hypnoist by ringleader Roddy. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, uh, unfortunately, this is gonna be malicious software. Found it. <laughs> I'm gonna use it. But no one else can. Well done, Enforcer. I did it. Let's see. Donate to one or all of these great people. Okay, so that's it, right? Like... We don't need to do anything else? Cases. Uh... Important message received from dispatch. There it is. Yeah. Additional violations found. Huh. Let's see. Hello, John Wolf. This is a content infringement notice regarding multiple instances of unauthorized music distribution reported in unknown zone. Please utilize your enforcement tool to report and remove these as soon as possible. Okay, so we're just moving on to the next thing. Like, what about Downloading what I just did? Report underscore eleven dash thirteen dash nineteen ninety nine. Can you can you get these Downloading two as well? Report underscore eleven dash twelve dash nineteen ninety nine. All right. Uh. Okay. What? Your Hypnospace service has been used to access, download, or distribute our copyrighted works without authorization. Please remove the musical compositions listed below. So they got DMCA, basically. Although this was before the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, right? 1999? Well, I don't know exactly when it was. Oh, I'm typing. It's kind of fun. I like that. Uh, okay. Glamacoaster, Glamoplasm. Uh, so I could start by searching for glam Glamacoaster, right? Or Glamoplasm? Glamoplasm. Huh? Aldrin's Glamacoaster review. So is this the music in the background? The legitimacy of Haze as a genre is something I've long wrestled with. Its lauded albums just don't have enough sonic consistency to comfortably live under one banner. Glamoplasm by Florida Act Glamacaster to my ears. Oh, I thought it was Glamacoaster for some reason. Conjures such a distinct listening experience that it should, by all rights, define something. It's too distorted and guitar-centric to fit well with most Hayes records, but there's certainly a shared lineage. Hayes-esque programmed drum machine sounds and rich sense of longing pop balladry live beneath its top coat of dirty guitar work. The elements accompany one another to form a beautiful, occasionally sad, but always excellent pop record. Five out of five. So, like, is that music, though? Hayesopedia. Now this is it, right? 
I'm working on getting a public page of free to download Hayes songs up. Not so easy to do copyright restrictions. If you're truly interested, chit chat me and I'll hook you up with the FLST login. Chit chat me. I can never use chit chat though. Uh, hey, if you're a beta tester for Outlaw, please download the new build. Also, have some new music going up on a FLST soon. How do I? What's an FLST? FLST access portal. FLST is invite only. If you have a password, please enter it below. There are no easy steps to being invited. You must ask someone with a, a FLIST account. Do not share your password. Okay, I see. Um, so if I go back, FLIST password's here. Turds in your butt. Buy a FLIST password. Are you sad, sad that DigiX Change closed down and none of your friends are on Flist and you're missing out on all the good tunes? Can't figure out how to get a password? Well, my friend, today's your lucky day. You can use mine for the low price of 99 coins. I mean, well, this says 200. It said 99, but then it said 199. After you pay me and get the pass, search Flist to find the access page. I like money, but my grandma could... Find a Fliss password, so only do this if you're a whittle baby. Your grandma could find a Fliss. Okay, so, so you're saying someone else has it? What about Gearhead Greg? So we could actually, we could figure out Greg's password. We could hack into Greg's account. How do I pick a secure password? One question I get almost every day is how to best go about making up a password that online criminals will be able to guess. Here's a good method. Use personal information that only you know. This is personally my favorite method. A great example might be the city you live plus your favorite hobby plus your birth year. So if you live in Denver, you're 29, your favorite hobby is computers. Well, mine too. Your password will look like this. Denver Computers 1970. Good luck cracking this password, hackers. You're so dumb, dude. Your head, Greg? More like technologically illiterate, Greg. So we already know a third of his password. We know computers. So we gotta find the city he lives in and his birth year. Uh, let's see. Look at all these pages. What in the world? What the heck? It might be actually on other pages. We might have to look on other pages. What in the world? <laughs> oh, I think my, uh, I think my mother's leaving. I'm gonna go say goodbye to her. Be right back. All right, I'm back. And I've come back to the screensaver once again. Uh, yeah, so my, my mom visits, uh, sometimes mostly to see the baby, but, um, she, she visits very often and she understands that sometimes I have to work while she's here. I try to keep it to a minimum, but... Yeah, she was just leaving. Okay, um, let's see. Right, we were just here. How much do you want to, to have donated? Oh, to these people? You know what, I think what I might want to do is just disable accelerator. How about that? Hang on, we gotta throw away, we gotta throw away the pet food. Yeah, let's get rid of that. All right, um... Are there two of these? Okay, let's see. 1998. Hypno S tips. Let's see. We gotta find personal info about you, Greggy. Pin windows to get them to stay on top. Oh, okay. Thanks. Using stickers on your desktop. Let's see. Anything about like how old you are or anything like that? 
If we can find that out, we can find out your birth year. Wildly moving the cursor around will increase both download and processing speed in Hypno S. No joke? What? <laughs> Connie has updated her page with a rude and ignorant comment about my password security page. I appreciate the concern, but leave this one to the professionals, Connie. Really? Okay, they look like they're a little on the older side. What did Connie say? Gearhead Greg is a helpful woman individual. Okay, let's see. Now what did you... Something about Net Settler. Computer Security Specialist. Okay, so you actually know what you're talking about. That's what that tells me. Greggy doesn't over here. Let's see, it's my main page. What in the world? Hypnospace. Let's see. First consumer focused sleep time networking service. Uh. Sleep time networking. Relatively new technology that allows people to use computers while they're sleeping. Is that what we're doing? Because I know that we're accessing this by... W with a headband. Oh! Beams images and audio into the users' brains and let them dream their computer usage. Oh, wow. So these pages are, like, are they created by people's dreams? Wow. Let's see... It's hard to remember much of what, what went on in Hypnospace during your awake time. I don't know how I'm just getting this now. I mean, I kind of figured it was something like that, but I thought, I thought that you were conscious while you were doing it. Anyway. It's easier to remember when returning, but it can be foggy at times. Wow. Okay. Well, thanks, Gearhead Greg. Publishing pages to Hypnospace. If you simply publish a page and don't uncheck the unlisted box, no one will see your page. Okay, so it's not like subconscious page posting. That would be terrifying. New page, you can add tags to your page. After you've made your... Oh, if you made your pages in NetSettler, you'll have to remake it using the Hypnospace page builder. Greg, I'm not finding much info about you, which is starting to annoy me. We know your favorite hobby is computers, obviously. We need to find out your hometown, and we need to find out uh, uh, your birth year. Yeah. Hmm, we're not finding that from this. I mean, this is a really, like, it's just tech club. Let's see. Hypnos tech tips. So this is... Okay, maybe we don't maybe we don't hack Greg's account. Maybe we maybe we hack someone else's account. Zane definitely has a Flist account, doesn't he? And we already know his birth year. What's his main interest? Could we put in seepage maybe? Or could we put in like, I don't know, music, games? Trying to figure out who to hack. Now, now we're really in welcome to the game territory. Sorry, I'm scoo scooching up so I'm more in frame. This is gonna take some getting used to. <sighs> computers. Really? Gearhead Greg's the only one with that tag of computers? Technology. Really? Secrets. Rod's anti-government page, right? Um, okay, who do we know has a Flist page? Zane definitely has one. I think he's got all this info in his About Me. 
He's 15, so his date of birth is uh, 1984. Favorite music, uh, favorite movies, hobbies. Making Hypnospace pages is the first one, but he's got a lot of hobbies. Gaming, drawing comic books. Where's your, where's your hometown? Does he talk about that at all? Oh, can someone get me a Fliss password? He doesn't, he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't have one? I love Zane. Does Jessica say something? I don't like him anymore. He's still handsome and smart, but <laughs> he's awesome. His comics are incredible. It just didn't work out. It's because I'm too scared of horror movies. And he likes to watch those all the time. That's too bad. Did Zane get a sunburn or is he always this high? Uh, it just seems like we would hack Zane. Okay, this is new. This is another Gearhead Greg page. Sandwich Info. It's encryption software. Ever seen a file that looks like this? That's a sandwich file. Sandwich encryption is a file encryption and compression tool made by Sam Parker and Roddy Wall in 1995 for Flamingo S. Okay, so it compresses files and stuff. Um... So there's other Gearhead Greg pages, right? Hmm. But how do you get to all of them? Check out my Witwa page. Uh, well, let's see. If I go to Witwa, I just get this. Gearhead Greg. Well, you know what I should do? I should go... Uh, the cafe? Let's see. Artie, Esoteric, Chit Chat, The Dumpster, Dylan. Okay, so that's the page that we've been to. But then... Can we go to Good Time Valley? Does he have a Good Time Valley? Page... Damn, okay. Open eyed? Does he have an open eyed page? He doesn't seem like the type. Let's check back out on Sherry Heels, actually. You still got. Because you, you were a troublemaker before. I was supposed to check in on you. Gus's Temple of Serenity. Oh. Hypnocoin merchant. Uh, anyway. Yeah, thanks, Sherry, but... Let's see. I'm trying to figure out... It really seems like we're supposed to guess Greg's password. Um, I mean, we, we could probably guess on the date. I'm guessing just from the, the picture of him, it's like 1950-something. Um, maybe 1940-something? I'm not sure. So we could actually brute force that one, but his hometown? I have no idea. I forgot you can click on the info. He's 49 years old. That means 1950! Lexington! Lexington Computers! 1950! Oh, you are so busted, dude. Lexington Computers 1950. Okay, wait. Lexington Computers, 1950. Uh, okay. Lexington Computers, 1950. Yes! We did it. We did it. Oh my god. Okay. So. <laughs> Now, what do we do? Okay, I'm, I feel so smart. I feel like a hacker. How to find Fliss file directories. You are now able to see Fliss directories by searching for Fliss IDs. 
Flux IDs are formatted as always, or as follows. F12345 A, the last six characters of a headband ID. Okay. So it's F plus, oh, I, okay, I didn't see that part. F plus the last six characters. Do not share Fliss directories other than your own without permission. Keep Fliss music and software related, no porn. Be aware that merchant soft developers and enforcers can see your headband ID through your citizen data, so there's a chance they can find your flist if they gain access. Okay. Okay, so I just, all I gotta do is like search their IDs like that. Oh, that's kind of fun. So, like, for example, if I wanted to. Okay, Greg's. I put an F. Uh oh, oh my god. F 03465A. 03465A. Yeah, here we go. We got it. Super Tasters Clip. Downloading Super Tasters Clip Zero. Are you, are you serious? Are you serious, dude? Music hey, file I'm added Matt. to Toonbox Library. And we're the Super Tasters, and today we're eating S O U P. Or Tasters, yes. Thank you for the, the internet radio audience. Might not know that our name is. Oh my god. A soup pun. A soup pun. Fantastic, five, dude. Funny clips from a morning show I listened to. Just a few random that programs that I'm saying for archival so purposes. Like they're too soggy, they're a Professor soggy. Helper? Square, which is like, how do you no! And also these little chunks of, uh... Okay, so... Chicken, chicken is that, that's, that's great and all. We got some stuff to do. Okay, what was I supposed to do? Pirated music downloads. Ah, uh, okay. So, so what we gotta do is we gotta find whoever made... What, or what, what was it? If we want to find, let's see, Hayes, right? Or what am I talking about? Yeah, it's Hayes, isn't it? Um, Glamacaster review. So, this guy, or Glamoplasm. Okay, now we want Hayesopedia. This person's talking about putting that up, right? 80085D. Oh, very mature. Boobs. Okay, so, okay, so here we go. Let's see, 70s, oh yeah, oh, here we go. Copyright infringement, right? Yeah, here we go. Can we do the whole thing? We found it. Good, do I have to do do I have to do all these individually? I mean... I mean, how many of these do we gotta do? Holy hell, each individual track? I mean, I was thinking that we could just do the, the album. You know, but I mean if we want to do the whole thing I mean I found this person's whole thing their whole library And this was just one of the ones that we wanted to uh, get removed, right? I'm afraid I mean I'm getting paid for these there's not a whole lot that we can do with the money, though. Hmm. <sighs> I just like hoarding it, I guess. Maybe there's an achievement for getting like a thousand hypno coins or something. Can you can you do multiple? Is there a way to? I'll have to look in the tutorial or something like. You would think that there'd be a way to do multiple. Maybe I'm just forgetting how to do it. All 
Okay. I mean, I got tons of... Look at that. Removed, 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 removed. And then there's a whole album there, too. An album there. Clifta, Clifta and Zared. This person's 99 years old. Boobs. Yeah, so they're, they're completely, um... Yeah, they're completely, uh, uh, off the grid. Wow. Let's see. So you can see... <laughs> Noise pusher. You've got hypno mail. I've got hypno mail. Oh. Okay. Ha, 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 ha. You're hilarious. Did you seriously just report me? Dude, uh, did you think I wouldn't notice? Wait, are you noise pusher? I don't know if this was you being funny or what, because everyone shares music nowadays. But the fact of the matter is that our whole team knows about my Fliss page now. If any of our interns Important are snitches, you could really cause a problem for me and the entire company. We're doing some amazing things over here, and I'll be damned if some little idiot is going to grant crashing down because they wanted to be funny. I'm taking you off duty. You're lucky I'm not banning you. What? I didn't know that was him. Wow, what a little surprise. I mean, I guess it would make sense that he would be someone who was anonymous like that. Welcome back, John Wolf. It's been 35 days since you last logged on. Wow, that's a long time. Installing update. HypnoS Year 2000 update. So this is New Year's Eve? Includes an exclusive online game, Outlaw. Participate in thrilling car chases with your friends for HypnoCoin. Wow, it's our most stable and secure release yet. No crashes, Don't no problem. Long. John Wolf. I'm just sitting here for a moment. I just got I just got fired. Wow, okay. I really wanted to look at Zane's Flist page. Anyway, um well Hypnos must now restart. Okay. Okay, sounds sounds good. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Happy New Year, John Cole. Happy New Year, John Wolf. Oh no. From all of us at Merchant Soft to you. Enjoy the year 2000 update. Okay, Important how? Important message received from dispatch. Yeah, am I back? You've been removed from active enforcement. For the following reason. Null. And now on January 1st, 2000. You are now on active duty. Oops, I'm so sorry Important from Miss Samantha. Important message received from dispatch. Hi, John Wolf. So I don't know if it was me or the system or what, but it looks like you were removed from the active enforcer list, which means you've probably been really bored over the last few weeks. This very well could have been my mistake, and I'm so, so sorry. Not an excuse, but I don't think I've ever been this exhausted at a job. Our interns are off for the holidays, so Dylan has some of us pulling double duties with HSPD stuff and our normal and our normal tasks. So I've just added you back as an active enforcer. You'll receive cases after the year 2000 update finishes installing. See you in the new millennium. <gasps> new year, new mindset? Someone has hacked into the Teen Topia main page and are threatening some sort of attack. I'm not sure what you enforcers can do about this, but if I don't assign the case, I'll never hear the end of it from my bosses. Since the violations are on official MerchantSoft pages, um, the system will reject any quick checks you do. It would be an easy fix if everyone with administrative access wasn't out of the office. Oh, so Dylan's out of the office right now, I'm assuming. Still, looking into it if you think you can find a way to stop it, Sam. All right, well, that is something that we're going to have to do later uh, with this Windows 98 looking ass over here. Windows ME, maybe. Um, I don't go this way, I go that way. Sorry, that's, that's going to take time to get used to because um, it was the opposite with where my camera was before. I'm going to stop talking about it. Um, yeah, so that was crazy. Hypnospace Outlaw. Let's go. I'll uh, see you guys in the next episode where we'll be resuming our 
Hypnospace Enforcer duties in the new millennium, the year 2000. All right, see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Think critically.